All right, guys, so a lot of you might not know what Gribbon is is. So right now, what you're looking at is cooking chicken skin and chicken fat. This is Gribbon is, or in some dialects, Grieven. Okay, now, this is a treat in Jewish cooking. You take this chicken fat and this chicken skin and you cook it down and you reduce it to something that resembles uh, something like a Mexican chicharrones. Okay, it's going to be golden brown bits of flavor, just delicious. And this is going to take quite some time because there's about two pounds of chicken skin and chicken fat here. And it's going to take quite some time to reduce. You can see there's the fat reducing. Okay, I'm going to spill off the excess chicken fat as it cooks. I'm going to try to keep this meal uh, lean but flavorful with enough fat. Okay, because fat is where the flavor is. Okay. So as this fat reduces, I'll be draining off the excess chicken fat to be used in the other stages when it comes to frying the onions and the mushrooms and then the chicken livers, okay, to put this dish together. But this is going to take quite some time. I just thought I would show you. Uh, a lot of people are not familiar. But this here is Gribben is. It's lovely. It's delicious. I'm not going to add any seasonings, no salt, no pepper, till I have the little golden bits. Okay. So this is going to take about 30 minutes actually, and uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, guys. So here it is: two pounds of chicken skin and chicken fat reduced nice golden brown bits okay they look like chicharrones and if you grab one stick it in your mouth it crunches like a chicharrones okay most of the fat has been reduced out of this okay and I'm gonna set this aside in a bowl and move on to the next step but what I want to show you is how much fat reduced out of this so hang on tight You see that? Okay. That's an eight ounce ramekin. Okay. Two pounds of chicken skin and chicken fat produced enough fat to fill up this eight ounce ramekin. And we're going to use this chicken fat for the next steps we're going to take because Jewish cooking is all about flavor. So hang on tight and I'll be right back. Okay. So now we have about one and a half onions sliver, okay, in about three tablespoons of that chicken fat. And I'm going to add some black pepper. Got to add some black pepper with Jewish cooking. Some salt. Okay. There we go. Salt and pepper. Okay. Just to get these onions to sweat down. And I'm going to fry these onions up until they're brown and caramelized and then I'm going to set them aside and I'm going to saute some mushrooms okay and then I'm going to set them aside as well but for right now I need to pay attention to these onions this is probably going to take 10 maybe 15 minutes to get these to brown and caramelize the way I want and when it's done I'll be back Okay, so I'm back. This here is one and a half large brown onions, okay, that have been browned up and caramelized in about three to four tablespoons of chicken fat. Now, you can caramelize onions in vegetable oil, olive oil, any kind of coconut oil, but I'll tell you what, there is nothing like caramelizing and browning up some onions in chicken fat. That's what Jewish cooking is all about. There's so much flavor in here. I got some salt, I got some pepper. The flavor layer is made and these onions look and they smell fantastic. My neighbor's gonna be beating down my fucking door. Okay, so I'm gonna take these onions, now that they're browned to my satisfaction, 
I'm going to set them aside and I'm going to get to work on the mushrooms. Hang on tight. All right, so I've sauteed the mushrooms in a little bit of water to soften them up to get them to wilt because if you just throw mushrooms in a skillet with oil, they soak up the oil like a sponge. Okay, so I sauteed them in water to get them to soften up, take up a little bit of water so that they won't suck up the chicken fat so fast. And there's about three tablespoons of chicken fat. And I'm going to saute these mushrooms in the chicken fat and brown them up on high. And then I'm going to put them aside with the onions. And then we're going to roast up some potatoes. The potatoes will take about 40 minutes to roast. And just before they're done, we'll cook up the livers and then warm up the mushroom and onions again, and we'll have dinner. So right now, I've added about three tablespoons of that chicken fat to these mushrooms that have been sauteed in water. They soak up the water so that they don't have to suck up all the oil, and we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so, here we go. I'm going to add a little garlic. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. To these mushrooms. Ooh, ooh. God, it smells so good. It's ridiculous. There we go. And we're mixing around. There we go. Oh, God. It smells so good. Look at those mushrooms. They're browning up really nice in the chicken fat. Okay. Best way to saute mushrooms is to saute them in a little bit of water to get them to take up some of the water and then in the oil so they don't suck up all the oil and they start to brown. So check these mushrooms out. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay guys, here are the mushrooms. Look at how deliciously brown those mushrooms are, okay? This is the way I saute mushrooms all the time. First off, I saute them in a little bit of water so that they can soak up a little water. And then when I put the fat in there, because the mushrooms have the water, they won't suck up the fat like a sponge. And the fat will work to caramelize the outer layers. Look at the brownness of those mushrooms. Just delicious. And I add some salt, some pepper, some fresh garlic. I'm going to set these aside, and then we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to roast up some potatoes. Okay, so I'm going to put some olive oil on these potatoes. There we go. Not too much. Shake them up. A little bit of salt. Little bit of salt. Little bit of pepper. Just really quick roasted potatoes. Okay. There we go. Get that black pepper to coat everything. There we go. Okay. Move the spuds a little bit, okay. A little bit of garlic. Just going to use some garlic granules. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. And then some everyday spice. A little grinder with some multiple herbs and spices. 
pick it up at your local grocery store. You know, all kinds of combinations. There we go. There we go. It's a nice spice and herb combo. There we go. Get it all over. Little bit of garlic here and there. There we go. You know, nothing fancy. Just spread it around. There we go. And into the oven at 425 for about 40 minutes on the high rack. Okay? And before the potatoes are done, I'll end up cooking the liver. All right, here we go. So, I've dredged the chicken livers in some flour, salt, and garlic. Okay, the potatoes are done. Okay. And I'm gonna cook up these chicken livers. Now, I'm not using all-purpose flour. In this recipe, I'm going to be using some corn flour, okay? Corn flour, salt, garlic, pepper, right? Okay. I'm going to be cooking this up in batches. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. So. I'm going to be cooking this liver up in batches and I'm going to be plating it. So, here we are. I'm frying them chicken livers in the rest of the chicken fat on high heat and then I'm going to turn them okay, and put them on a plate with a towel and then we're going to plate up dinner. Oh, God. Dang, they smell good. I'll be right back. If you look real close, you can see that the corn flour that I use instead of the regular flour is really imparting a nice crunchy coating. All right, look at that. All right, that corn flour making a really nice, really nice crunchy coating on these chicken livers. So I'm going to cook these for about two more minutes on each side and then add the next batch and then I'm going to plate up dinner. Hang on tight. All right. Here I am frying up the second batch. All right. If corn flour makes a nice substitute for a AP flour, okay, especially since the corn flour is gluten free, okay, a lot of people concerned with gluten these days, so the corn flour makes a really nice crust on the fried chicken liver rather than using AP flour, so this is my second batch. <laughs> Excuse me. I have one more batch to go, and then we're going to plate up for dinner. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, there you have it. Chicken livers, fried chicken livers, with fried potatoes and mushrooms underneath, and roasted potatoes all the way around. This here is Jewish comfort food, Jewish soul food, this stuff is so delicious. I'm so hungry. I'm waiting for dinner. <laughs>